Okay, if you want to use a MIDI keyboard as a controller for playing instruments within Pro Tools, the first thing you need to do is to set up your MIDI controller so that Mac OS will actually see it. So after you've cabled it up via USB, let's just check that Mac OS sees it. If it's something called a class compliant USB device, you don't need to install any drivers on Mac OS. If you're on a PC, typically you do have to install a driver, but this demonstration will show you Mac OS. Once you've plugged it in, let's check to see that Mac OS is seeing it. The best way to do that is to use an application called Audio MIDI Setup. I actually have it in my dock because I use it so much, but you'll find it in your Applications folder inside your Utilities folder. So open that up. Okay, when you open it up, it does have two pages. It has a Audio Devices page and it also has a MIDI Devices page and the MIDI Devices page is the one that you want to actually be looking at. But you'll see here that given that I've plugged in my MIDI controller, it's an Axiom 49, just a simple 49 note MIDI keyboard controller. Uh, it appears as a device uh, within my audio MIDI setup. You'll also see here I do use the Quartet audio interface, which also can operate as a MIDI interface as well. So this page shows you all of the devices that are capable of handling MIDI that are within your operating system at this point. I won't go over the other ones there, sort of more advanced uh, virtual devices that I have running. So this is the one that I'm interested in, Axiom 49. So to check that it's actually working, so we can see that Mac OS sees that the keyboard is now attached, I just click this keyboard icon up the top here, which is Test MIDI Setup. Okay, and then if I just play my keyboard, you'll see here that there's a blue light beside uh, port one or the number one on the bottom. So it's got three MIDI ports, but it's sending MIDI to Mac OS on port one. Okay, so that confirms that Mac OS is now seeing my keyboard. So given that it's getting in to the computer, then I should be able to open Pro Tools and then set Pro Tools to accept this as a MIDI input. Mm -hmm.